So I would say for you guys to always be forgiving, um, talk things through, try to understand each other's viewpoints, and just remember that God has brought you together and you know, God has forgiven us so much, so we need to do the same for each other. Okay, so Shane, my best advice to you is to lead well uh, as a servant. Love, Laura. Um, it's hard to do, so to do that, you gotta lean on Christ. Laura, my best advice to you, lean on Christ and, and trust Shane, follow his, his spiritual leadership, and then pipe up when, when you need to, when you want to. Um, be the woman God has designed you to be. And uh, gosh, if God's in it, you guys are good to go. God bless you. Ah, uh, well, it's gotta lay down some ground rules, opening day. It's gotta make sure that dinner's ready by six every night. Clean house. <laughs> After that, it would be good. When things get hard, just work it out and love each other unconditionally. <laughs> I just think just trying to keep making each other laugh every day will keep you happy. <laughs> My advice is uh, it'll get better. Just keep going. <laughs> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Two people are better off than one but they can help each other succeed. Right? Your goal is for the betterment of each other. Uh, you're not setting out for you to be this big shot in a relationship. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> if one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is a real problem. Uh, likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? This next section is about threats. Uh, your relationship is probably going to see threats. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated. The two can stand back to back and conquer. Just three are even better. The triple braided cord is not easily broken. God's there with you. He's that third core to strengthen the relationship. So with that in mind, let's have you guys exchange your vows. The reason I'm marrying Laura is because she she can pick out a watermelon like no other. <laughs> I think she's marrying me for my Costco membership. So. <laughs> what well, started out as friendship and mutual appreciation for hiking and nature and faith in Jesus quickly blossomed into love. I kept affection away at first to examine your heart. I found a, found a heart as big as a tree and soft as a flower. <clears throat> I began to let my guard down and looked into your eyes and saw love and beauty so deep that melted me and made my heart sing. You are answered prayer. I pray for a pretty woman with a heart for God, passion, companionship, <clears throat> and grown adult children. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, anyone who receives my teasing with joy and responds with their own and nicknames me Brat should be enough. He's blessed me with me more. Our connection and chemistry are off the charts. It's amazing how alike we are our interests, demeanor, our values, and sense of humor. And our love language is the same, touch and time. In some mysterious way, it's as if we're twins. I can't really put it into words. You are filled with fruits of the Spirit. My whole body, heart, soul, and mind yearns to be with you. You are my best friend and the one whom my soul loves. Laura Maria, I promise to be faithful to you, to love you, to care for you, to show you honor, to encourage you and nourish your faith through all my days God enables me to do so. My prayer, our great and glorious God, full of love and grace beyond measure, thank you for Laura and the woman of faith you've molded her into. Thank you for our magnificent, our magnificent love. Continue to bless us, 
with love and joy throughout our journey. Help me be the husband and man of God you've called me to be. May our marriage honor you well. Be our compass and keep us on your path. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> oh, Shane. You are my sunshine. You are my heart. You are my love. You make every day better by being in it. You are my favorite breath. Always teasing, always funny, and always bringing my heart joy with your smile, your warmth, and your humor. You make me laugh till my gut hurts. We've laughed together at so many things and probably at only things we find funny. I may be turning 60, but I'm young at heart and have always found joy in my journey with God, with family, with friends, with hiking and adventure, with being present for my life. On this day, my birthday, my wedding day, you are my present. A gift from God, an answer to prayer, the one whom my soul loves. Now I get to find joy in my journey with you by my side, the love of my life, the person I was meant for and who was meant for me, the person I want to grow old with, chasing waterfalls and sunsets, the person who takes away my breath with every kiss, the person whose hand I want to hold on every hike and every adventure. <laughs> Should have brought a Kleenex. <laughs> On every mountaintop, the person I want to sit next to in church and praise Jesus with, we are better together. Shane, you've always teased, teased me that we'll be together if I play my cards right. I guess I play my cards right because God dealt me the best hand. And I get a bonus daughter, Shay, <laughs> and a bonus dog, <laughs> who is the reason we met in the first place. Here's to love laughter and a life filled with gratitude grace and gorgeous vistas and here's to jesus i love you more the end i win <laughs> <laughs> it's my privilege to announce for the first time mr and mrs shane Woo! <laughs> 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 Thanks again, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>